welcome to our uh, fifth study of the book of Revelation uh, using uh, David Shilton's uh, phenomenal Days of Vengeance, his commentary in Revelation, an exposition of the book of Revelation. And we have uh, discussed uh, various introductory issues so far. In Lesson 4, we talked about how Revelation is an ethical book, that it calls God's people uh, to action. And in this study, our fifth study, we want to discuss briefly the symbolism of, of Revelation. You've probably been in discussions with people that uh, will tend to pose this great distinction, this great divide between those who interpret the Bible literally and those who interpret the Bible figuratively or symbolically. But the reality is, as Chilton writes, that we cannot understand what the Bible really and literally means unless we appreciate its use of uh, literary styles. We cannot understand the rich descriptions of the Bible by viewing them simply literally. We cannot simply point to a book and say, unless you interpret it literally, you may not understand what it means. Because many of the descriptions, especially in Revelation, will not make any sense if you take them absolutely literal. So we must understand that the prophetic writings, they're going to make use of these figures, of these symbols, to communicate a certain message to a people. And Revelation is in many ways the magnum opus of symbols and figures. But where do these symbols, where do these images come from? Well, they come from the rich heritage of, of biblical images. And so as a side note, I always want to encourage the listeners to pick up a James B. Jordan's book, Through New Eyes, which will elaborate on the rich biblical uh, pattern of, of symbols. And so it'll, it'll give you a vast a broader understanding of how to use these symbols in the interpretation of the book Revelation and how symbols are viewed overall in the biblical literature. In fact, John begins Revelation right in chapter 1 by stating that the letter is written in signs. And where will you find the source of these signs, the source of these symbols? Some people directly will go to ancient uh, Near Eastern literature to find some level of answer to or some way of translating these symbols. But even though ancient Near Eastern literature may provide some help, the Bible is going to provide its own system of symbolism. And this is a very important point to keep in mind as we discuss this uh, book, that the Bible is going to provide its own system of symbolism. We cannot simply make up a definition of a symbol. And again, this is to stress uh, that understanding Revelation presupposes a very healthy knowledge of Old Testament language and history. In fact, there are over 250 Old Testament passages referred to in Revelation. So you cannot simply enter and delve into the book unless there is a healthy background of Old Testament Revelation. And since John's audience uh, were Jews, uh, you can assume that they were very steeped in Old Testament imagery certainly more so than many uh, modern interpreters. So the crucial danger of interpreting Revelation is to begin by imposing certain models and certain modern themes like, as we hear today, social security, tattoos, or Hal Lindsey's famous uh, black helicopters, or more popular, modern wars. In fact, if you take a quick look at the last uh, 30 years of eschatology, of eschatological books, you will notice that every new war is a candidate for a fulfillment of prophecy. And so this wrong-headed approach is dangerous, and it must be avoided as we study the book of Revelation. So in summary, symbolism, particularly biblical symbolism, is fundamental to understanding of this book. Now we can't simply dive into Revelation without understanding the language that John chose to compose it, and that language is the language of symbols, that the Bible provides its own symbolic language. Well, that uh, will be enough for now, so please feel free to uh, leave questions or comments on my YouTube account. And so blessings upon you on this uh, week of Pentecost, and uh, may the Lord be with you.